Peace family, what's good? It's in the guys in the wave. It's a Tuesday. It's my birthday. I'm ready up. Red on my feet. You know, red on my feet. Uh, I got the bust down red. I got the red lighter. You know, it's blood gang, bitch. We, we, we read it up, family. Red lighter. Red lighter. I got the red, red flag going on. Whoop. That's Aries. I'm, this is me. Fire. This is me. I feel regenerated. There's so much red in this car. Oh. Alright, I love y'all family, I love y'all Alright, so today we're here to talk about I just want to do this all day Alright, today we're here to talk about my dossier family Is I miss y'all so much I just want to talk to y'all again Alright, 1,070 subscribers I love y'all, appreciate y'all for everything Now, today we're here to talk about Astrological Consciousness And X to Infinite Gene Now, today we're here to talk about X and the subclassification X and the elements. This is a subtopic. Now we have a lot of different elements. My element is fire. I'm just gonna talk about one classification. There's really the divine trinity your moon, sun, and your ascendant. These are your three main elements. But today we're just gonna talk about the, the, the types of elements. My ex is fire. I'm an Aries, so my element is Aries, but the house and the condition of X I have is Cardinal X, so my energy is spark, it's real reactionary, boom bang, you like, when pressure hits me, my X flares up and it sparks, then it's like, I get mad and I get raged, but all this pain heals over me, and it makes me better the next day, stronger. We all have different elements. Now, fire, it's ex extreme anger. The X of fire is hostility. Extreme strength, power, and extreme physical energy, and X is willpower. The fire... For X, it's willpower. You get extreme heightened willpower. And your body is like a superhero. You can hit sets. You know, you work out. You just say X and you think about your body. And it literally mutes and forms into this machine. All you got to do is just meditate. Try to activate the X and think about your body restoring itself. And you get a buff again. And you turn into this machine. It's like I'm a mutant. So, I'm wearing red on a Tuesday to complement myself with the energies so that more X is possible. Of course, I meditated for an hour this morning to reorganize the X, but it's like I'm better. It's like, I'm stronger than I was yesterday. It's like the X, it, the power is so much that it causes you to collapse, takes your body to a limit you've never been before, then you come back stronger. Now, if you're a water sign, Pisces, uh, what are all the water signs? Motherfucking Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpios, I have a more energetic, Less energetic, more emotional when it's for Pisces and water signs. Their ex, their yin, is their emotions. They could try to make you feel a certain type of way. They could bend all their depressing thoughts. They could bend all their hurt energy. And they could turn that into actual beautiful music, beautiful poetry. They could be deep storytellers. Water signs are real intuitive. They could use all that emotional experience to know how to emotionally analyze the situation. That's a good ex ability. So they could learn to bend their emotions 
and not even be hurt by emotions because they can send emotions now. They can now maneuver emotions. It's raining today. It's really complimenting my Aries energy, so I'm not, you know, just overacting. So I'm more calm, a lot more water feminine energy. I'm just accepting the flow of things. I'm trying to relax today, not be so hyped, let myself heal. Now, when it comes to Scorpios, their ex is weird. I'm a moon Scorpio. Scorpios get deep to it. Their ex is nowhere physical. It's all in here and it's all the closed eyes in the unseen realm. These are the spirit seers. Scorpios have a lot of unseen potential if they use it. Now, you got the earth signs. Capricorns, the Taurus, and the Virgos. <coughs> Their ex is a bit different. These are healers. Earth signs are instant healers. They have the X ability to heal themselves mid argument, mid via. They could detach and literally heal anything in the body. Earth signs are easy to heal. They're light going, they're easy going. They don't hold grudges and they're more stable. They won't get mad and overreact. They, they're more solid and can instantly heal their body. So, Earth signs, their ex is a little bit different. Their ex can help them heal and raise beautiful kids. Their ex can make them great doctors. They could be more in tune with the Earth. Their ex can hear planet Earth's cries. So, Earth exes... Their X is real different from fire. Fire is more the electrical st static. -y. Earth is the restoring, restoration. Now, air. Air X's are different. I'm an air ascendant. So I got fire, water, and air. My ascendant is Aries. I mean, Aquarius. That's my ascendant sign. Now, I'm going to start practicing my air X more. I'm going to start getting used to my air X. I think that's the next step in my growth. Excuse the rain, family, but it's making the video more beautiful. Airs, their X is real different. When it comes to air signs, they're more of a thinker and a communicator. So they have intense thoughts and they can construct in physical reality very intense. Air signs really think through situations and can analyze what could happen and what can happen. These are the thinkers. These are the poets that are, aren't based off of emotion. These are the people who make logic beauty. Air signs make logic beautiful. Think in the communication. They are beautiful expressors. But the thing is, Aries are expressors, but they're more subconscious. Air signs are conscious expressors. So air signs consciously express and choose to think about what they say and organize it and construct it. While Aries, we're fire, we're movers. We get ours directly from the yin. I pull in my energy and my emotions and how I feel from the yin. Air signs pull it in from the yang. They get their feelings, their reaction, and their thoughts, and their motives, and how they want to view life from outside, from the yang, from the, I get it from the deep, from the dark. I'm a yin fire. So I get all my expressions, all my energy from the spiritual realm. That's why my Scorpio, my Aries help me dive 
deep into the yin and pull things out. While air signs, which is my air ascendant, Aquarius, I have to learn to start reacting in the yang and stop being so reactionary. Reacting in the yang appropriately. Reacting in the yang accordingly. You feel how I'm buzzing? Slime? But that that's what that's what I must learn to do. And don't worry. Nobody said this was gonna be easy. Nobody said this was gonna be difficult. You're gonna get hurt. But you wanna know the one thing about pain? It makes you stronger. I feel like a power ranger now. Like, look at me. Like, I'm just like a power ranger. Like, pain will make you stronger. Failing will make you stronger. Not succeeding is all a part of the process to make you a stronger person. And I guarantee you, you will be stronger. And this is the first of many videos. I'm going to go upload this, get to the next video. Light speed.